Alright, I'm back. Um, I know it's been a while since I've recorded, but thanks for 11k on that stupid LED light video. That's just amazing how much views that got. But, um, did I say 11k? I thought it's more than that. But whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, just thanks for all the, you know, it really supports me. Um, so today we're going to be teaching you how to mod Beat Saber. So... I can teach you both ways how to mod Beat Saber on the Oculus and the HTC Vive, but I don't have an HTC Vive, so you may have to look that up on a different video. But, um, so first thing you want to go to this link. I will put this link in the description, but once you go to this link, <clears throat> uh, you want to click Latest Release. If it's not already on the Latest Release, then you'll have to click that button. Just make sure you double click it, just, just, you know, just to make sure. So after you're here, make sure you press modassistant.exe. After you click that, it'll start in your downloads. I've, I already downloaded this like two other times, but I just deleted it just to show you guys that it works. So after that's done downloading, um, you can just go to your downloads folder, just click shown folder. Uh, you just wanna drag this out to your desktop. Now, if you have modded Beat Saber before, then make sure your VR headset's plugged in too. If you've modded Beat Saber before, then what you want to do is you want to go to Oculus, your Oculus tab, and you want to go to your library, these three circles, your details, and you need to click on location. After that, you want to go to your files folder. Just put that in there. And as you can see, that custom levels and custom sabers. Um, those are my, you know, custom labels or sabers and custom stuff. So, you want to take, this is to make sure they don't lose anything. So, just take out your custom sabers. Just put them over there. Uh, I'll just replace the files. So, you know, just put it over there. Custom, uh, go to Beat Saber Data, click Custom Levels, just drag it out there. Oops, hold on. <sighs> okay, so, again, Custom Levels, drag it out here. Just replace the files. I'll be back when this is done. All right. Well, that was actually pretty quickly. So, <laughs> so after you do that, you want to go to your for Steam. Just uninstall the app. Um, actually, no. Don't listen to me. I don't have a, I don't have an HTC Vive. So just, I guess you'll have to go to a different video. I'll link a good video for it, um, in the description if I find one. So, next you just want to uninstall the app. Just uninstall that. And we brought the custom savers and custom levels out there, so it doesn't delete anything. Again, that's only if you've previously modded. So next you want to install Beat Saber. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so now that Beat Saber is done installing, what you want to do is, you want to click modassistant.exe. Okay, this if this happens, do not panic. It's pretty easy to fix. So just like whenever we were finding our Beat Saber folder, just click the three dots, details, go into your location, just copy that, and then you just click up here, just paste that in, and then, you know, just click this, and then just click save, and that'll fix it. So next you wanna click, I agree. You can now use the mods tab. So after you do that, you can go into your mods and look, there is so much stuff that you can, you know, customize. So I'll just select, where is it? Here we go, custom savers. And then, you know, there's just all this stuff. I'll do all this later because I'm in a tutorial video right now. So after that, you just want to click on well, I'll enable song browser. Just click install or update. 
and what you want to do after that is you want to run Beat Saber. It doesn't matter for how long, just run it. And, you know, just wait there a couple seconds. It, it'll do its thing. So after that, you know, you can just close out of there. Now, one last time, you want to go to your files. Go into here. Now, it says, custom again, this is for only if you've customly or previously modded. So after that, you just want to click on, I'm in my custom savers. So you just want to move your custom savers here. Just cut all those out and just put them in here. And I can just delete this folder now. After that, if you want to do your custom levels, you can just go into Beat Saber Data, or Data, whatever, how you say it, Custom Levels, just drag that in there, Custom Levels, just select all those, just cut them, and then put them in here. Okay, that's now done. So after that, you can just close out of that. And whenever you load up Beat Saber, hold on, the audio quality is probably going to get pretty horrible at this point. <laughs> hold on. Now, put on your VR headset. Go to continue. And if you look over to the left, it says you can now, you know, do the mods tab. And boom, you can do custom songs, you can search up the songs, you can do custom savers. My favorite's the uh, old school default, but you know, whatever you want. If you want to download more custom savers, you have to download them off the internet. So, yeah, pretty scary place. Um, so there's just, just um, I think there's a lot of websites where you can download them. You can just download them and then just put them in that um, in that custom savers folder that I showed you before. If you want to download more songs, you can just click the search and then just you know search up whatever song you want. So that is how you mod Beat Saber. Have fun.